been anywhere that smells so miserable you can taste it you can taste it you'll just be walking and all of a sudden it slaps you in the face and then you know me I'm gagging and then all of a sudden you walk past like all the fresh uh, produce and it's like oh the onions and garlic that smells so nice and then boom, boom, mixed with some poop and scum and I don't know what else. And it's like, oh, I regret ever <laughs> opening my nostrils. This is what I was talking about. You get the garlic and the onions uh -huh. and then just wait. Yeah. So we made the trek up to Mandalay in order to see some of their famous temples. And so that's what we're gonna do today. <laughs> Come to find out. The most beautiful temples here are not even in the city. They're about an hour and a half outside of the city. So in order to get there, we walked 30 minutes from our hotel to the riverfront where we are getting on the Mingun, what's the other word? This is called the Mingun Jetty. Jetty. You're not getting on a jetty. I know, but <laughs> so we're going to the Mingun Jetty, getting on the Mingun Ferry. It takes about an hour up the Irrawaddy River and then we get to the town of Mingun and then we're gonna traipse around for the afternoon and see some temples and then we catch the ferry back at 12.30. As you can tell, this is the loudest, most chaotic, <laughs> so many words to describe Mandalay. <laughs> Let's go get on this ferry. The map says to go this way. <laughs> So they explained someone writing down your information into 
little benches to sit on after. So I think this is it. <laughs> <laughs> we got our tickets and everything's good to go. That was easy. 5,000 chat per person, one male and one female, of course. <laughs> Important to know. <laughs> We're good. Worth noting, it's called a jetty. It's more like a mud hill. So don't look for what we <laughs> look know as a jetty. Look for a mud hill. <laughs> Just look for the waterfront. Yeah. Uh -huh. Also worth noting, we've worn the same <laughs> clothing. I counted about eight days for me that I've worn these pants. Yeah. Well, it's difficult when you live out of a very small backpack and you have to dress modestly at most yeah. of these temples, which like I don't have the most immodest clothing. These are the only to... pants that cover my knees. Yeah, you have to cover your knees, you have to cover your shoulders, and it was just an easy combination. So, you know, I'm probably going on like eight or nine days in the same outfit, and it doesn't smell. <laughs> oh, mine does. <laughs> mine does. So it only took an hour and three minutes to get here? Yeah, said an hour and a half online, so that's a nice surprise. When you get inside, immediately you see some huge crumbly structures, and apparently they used to be lions that have since been destroyed, but it's gorgeous. There are two temples here. We are going to the White Temple first. The sticker is your ticket. No. There's actual tickets too. <laughs> oh, I don't know why you have a sticker then. I don't know. Okay. Uh, please pronounce the name of the temple that we are going to. Um, Maya Tai Tin. What? Tam. Tam. <laughs> <laughs> we suck. Maya Tai Tan. <laughs> pagoda. <laughs> uh, can it, we just call it the White Pagoda? The White Pagoda. It's a. 10 or 15 minute walk to the right after you get off the boat. Okay, this might just be my favorite temple I've ever seen. Yeah, I was beginning to think that I was templed out. No. No. This one is so unique. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing to say, but we literally made Mandalay a stop on the itinerary just because we had seen photos of this place. I was starting to question it for a little bit. We've had a rough time in the city, but this, this is good. Yeah, didn't disappoint. No. <laughs> Another thing that we were warned about, which is very true, is the ground is freaking hot. And uh, you have to leave your shoes at the bottom like most temples and it is kind of like 
like walking on hot sand in the middle of a Californian summer. <laughs> oh. Shall we? Yes. Let's go inside. That was good. That was really good. We're going from the new to the old. Yeah, so now we're heading back before we go back on the ferry. We are going to the Mingun <laughs> Katadaugi. Yeah. Ah, that. <laughs> Apparently it was intended to be the tallest temple in the world, but then they never finished it and now it's just this massive crumbling structure. That's overgrown with plants. You can still climb halfway up it looks like, but you can't go to the top anymore. Which is great with me. Yeah. But first, the Mingan Bell. I also read online that this used to be the largest bell, but China went ahead and built a bigger one. <laughs> Go! Also, I am so happy with our decision. We went straight for the second temple and totally beat the crowd. Now that we left, everyone's over there. And now that we're back at this one, no one's here. Yeah, there's only, I think one time that you can take the boat. So you get here at like 10, 15, and you leave at 12, 30. And other than that, I don't think there are any tourist boats that mm -hmm. come. So we did it opposite and we did it correct. Yep, we scored. That's what I was trying to pronounce. I don't think I got it right. So when we bought the tickets for today, we thought that 9 a.m. to 12.30 sounded like we were getting gypped and that it wasn't enough time. That was plenty of time. There's plenty of time. There's a couple different pagodas that you can go to the bell, and really that is enough. Yep. Strangely. You used to be able to go to the very top of this thing, but now it's closed off. That's okay. That's probably good. It's probably good. <laughs> so the sign of the bell said that it was destroyed by an earthquake. I can only assume that that's what caused these massive cracks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it's wild. <laughs> I don't think this guy has very many years left in him. Uh, let's hope there's no more earthquakes. 